when um, Hippocrates uh, was basically involved in our medicine a little bit later on, so we actually have things called like malt but bad air. Um, and so funny too, in Chinese medicine, it's called, it's called like excess liver heat, for instance, and we call that bees. You know, there's different terminology. That's why our medicine is so just linked so heavily and kind of kind of parallels one another quite a bit. So um, they had one, the Southern Fontanella. You know, they used to get babies. They would soak their heads and and they would tap them on the butt to get the Fontanella. But they then they gave them a bottle of um, of uh, sugar water with um, men's uh, with, with chamomile. The chamomile basically, like most yellow flowers, they have a, a lot of potassium. And Fontanella comes from, from a child that's dehydrated. So um, we learn all those ancient things that we did in the past, and we don't do those anymore. But you know, now we find a certain remedy to remedy it. Um, that's another one too. Is, is um, when you get when you get wind in your face, it's called in, when your face falls. What's that one called? Ere. And the ere basically means bad air. In the old days, they cover the babies up with the, when the seasons change, and they would swallow them up so they wouldn't get ere. And when the seasons change, our bodies are getting colder, and the cold air hits us, and that causes us the wind to shoot up really, really quickly. We call it trigeminal neurology now. Yeah. It's actually which we call ere. It's when you, when you get into a hot and cold, and you're tired and fatigued. And then all of a sudden you have like you get a real bad a pink eye and it's all swollen and you have a headache on one side. And it's it's called it's got a nerve called the trigeminal nerve that runs through here. It's um, it it has a change of climate too quickly and it swells. And then if you don't take care of it, then it goes into your arm and your leg that runs all the way down the side and follows that same meridian for the kidneys and it causes and if you can cripple you up. So the same one for Bell's palsy. Yes. So it's the bottom one the same thing too. It's called bad air. Yeah, there are excess wind heat when the wind rises upward. And then we have a well, certain terminology we use called dampness when things become damp. Um, uh, same terminology is used in, um, in Chinese medicine also. They use damp wind heat, things like that. Same thing with um, our medicine. And what is good for that? I'm a Hippocratic. What is good for that thing? That one here, for the airing? Yeah. Um, acupuncture is good for that. <laughs> But we used to use for area. We used to use OSHA to get the, the, that the thing that warms you. And then, but it's cooling for over here, so we have to put poultice over here, slippery elm, and then we would um, basically have to uh, go into a sweat bath and get everything to warm up. Instead of having heat here, we'd heat the put heat everywhere else, and then um, and rest. You have to basically, and then you, then you can't go from a room that's cold and hot anymore. You have to kind of rest it. But um, we have to put some cooling on here, though. But hot, from the whole body, but cold here. And we do it that way. Yes. What do you have in the bag? <laughs> we'll, we'll have questions question and answer a little bit later. We'll pull one up right here. There's <laughs> 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 a lot of things you can do for your bag. Cat I'm sorry? Cat herbs. Okay. Yes, I can. It's, it all depends on what's causing the backache. Lower backache is always kidney related. Upper backache is usually about heart, emotional stress, and a dirty liver. Liver, your liver. Yeah. This is one of our salves that we make too. This is a um, like a lot of the herbs that we use, like romero and sage, um, are a very antifungal herbs in the OSHA along with it. And we make salves out of it, like this. So this is like one of the finished products that we have before we start packaging it. We make it the old-fashioned way. We still make it in small quantities. Is that for the back? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's a really good, I'm actually, the, the last thing I'm going to be talking about was Miss Mustard, and actually, a okay, common mustard plaster, yeah, yeah, it works very, very well. The the back. They were jumping the gun, you see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, they did, they put it in cotton. They, they did, yeah. they did. Cotton, they did. Cotton, they did. cotton, they did. White cotton yeah. sheets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, it was very well known in the old days. Every single healer has got a Four Thieves formula. Have you heard the legend of the Four Thieves? The legend of the four thieves is quite interesting. It was about the four thieves that survived the plague because, and they were very rich because they would rob the people that were dying in their beds and blew really take their rings off of them when they were still laying there. And um, when they found them and caught them, they had to give up their recipe for the four thieves formula. And most herbalists have a certain uh, combination. Mine has got, cl got clove in it, quassia, which is quite a quinine. Uh, oil, um, eucalyptus, lemon, sage, and then um, 
We actually spray this on our bodies or we carry the oil around a little vial around our neck, put it on the airplane so we don't get anything that everyone else is basically hacking up on you. And um, we've sprayed this on in the intake vents of our heaters so we don't get germs from the year before. You know, just everyone gets a seasonal cold each time the heater goes on and everyone gets the same, it's all stuck in the heaters and you have to vacuum it all out and you spray it with the four thieves. You have to spray it too. Many, so. Um, this one is actually similar to that, and it's, it's called bug off. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a bug spray. And um, if you actually burn sage, it keeps the mosquitoes away. And this one has um, uh, rosemary, citronella. The citronella has kind of this, this scent of its own that's kind of a little too strong. Lavender keeps away flies. Um, and sage is a good size rosemary. Ooh, Rosemary is a very interesting herb too. It's like we use that terminology is like rosemary is for remembrance. And do you remember that term in the Victorian days? And rosemary is for remembrance. We actually use rosemary for for mind formulas for for um, ginkgo. Okay, almost there. Okay. Let's <laughs> go. What's up? And then um, it's also used if you put it inside of uh, vinegar and you mix it with vinegar and um, and put it on the windowsill, and get the heat in there, and it makes your hair blacker and shinier. It's really good for dark hair. So anything that goes on top, it works for things for the top of the head. So that's one we know about rosemary, we always know it's, it's, it's going to go from hair up. So we use it to spray ourselves too, to keep the bugs off flying around our head. Works the same principle. It's amazing. And um, this is one that we're going to show you here. This is a mustard. Mustard is used a lot in Mexican American folk medicine. I want you all to get one seed of mustard. I want you to put that one seed in your left hand. It's not ultimately it's going to give you a blessing. <laughs> but one seed in your left hand. One thing about mustard is it's a, it warms the body so beautiful. We actually use, and even in our shop, we actually sell it this time of year. We get flour and salt. Um, this, my great grandmother. I had a, a, an Oriental lady that lived down the street. We called it the, 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 the Chino Senora, basically. And she was a Chinese lady. <laughs> and she would um, give my mother ginger a lot. And, and so I incorporate a lot of ginger in my particular products. That's why I like using Chinese herbs mixed with my particular herbs, too, because of the Chino Senora that we were raised around. And um, she would get the ginger and the mustard and the flour and the salt and would mix it with warm water and make a paste out of it. It's called a mustard plaster thing. Some of you, when you're younger, probably have heard of the mustard plaster. And it's really good for a sore back. And what you do is you mix that formulation together into a paste. You put it between um, paper towels or some cloth. And then you rest it on the area that hurts. But you can't leave it on for more than 20 minutes. Or a little bit. Yeah, have some yes, it does. I've seen yeah. yeah. If you have sensitive skin, you put a little um, olive oil on the area first. And then you put the mustard plaster on. Or on your shoulder. And it's for rheumatism. It's for it's called for cold pain. So you put the heat on cold pain. So what was the name of the thing? I'm sorry? What was the name of the thing? Uh, it's salt. Salt is grounding and it holds heat in a lot better. Kosher salt? I don't know. Is that, is that your religion? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Any salt. Salt, salt. And I salt the salt. It's basically it holds heat in really, really well. Uh, flour. Um, it doesn't matter if you're. Um, like gluten intolerant, it's not going to bother you. <laughs> okay. Is it uh, the same for equivalent? Mm, two, two, two tablespoons of salt, four tablespoons of flour, tablespoon of ginger, tablespoon of mustard, and warm water. And you mix that up and you make a plaster out of it. It's really good for congestion of the chest, like for, we use it for um, pneumonia. Because this pneumonia is a really severe blockage of the chest and it causes, and it actually loosens up phlegm. Works really well for loosening up phlegm. And um, does everyone have mustard seed? Mm -hmm. It's coming around. My great grandmother and my grandmother and my great grandmother before her, but I didn't inherit the mustard seed. But I think that my mother still has it right now. And so it was a, in the old days, I had this little glass ball. I have this here. Yes, very special. And inside it has a mustard seed. And um, it basically has to do with faith. 